We're going to be doing a demonstration of a pipette and a pipetter. Pipetter is a device used to draw vacuum on a pipette. There's two types of pipettes we're going to be using. A volumetric pipette, which is more, most accurate, but limited in its use. This will only read to 10 milliliters. It will tell you what its volume it can read to right here. There is one line on here that will read to that value and no other values. The more pipette is more versatile, but less accurate. It's more like a graduated cylinder that's more accurate than a graduated cylinder, though. When we're using a more pipette, or when we're using a pipette and a pipetter, there are two functions on the pipetter. One is a thumb that allows you to draw the vacuum, and the other is the outlet valve. We push this, and air is just allowed to come in. This is similar to letting your thumb off of a straw, and the fluid follows out. So let's use the volumetric pipette that gets inserted firmly in here. Important to note, do not allow fluid to pass up into the pipette. The second that's important to note is this will come up quickly and then it will flow slowly as you draw out. But the second it hits this narrow section again, it has a tendency to move very quickly and students who've never used this before end up shooting up into the pipette. So as you reach the top of this bulb section, slowly pull the rest of the way out. So the volume's going up the bulb, and then I get to the top of that and slowly I reach up. This volume can fall as we pull out of our fluid. And again, we're reading this as a meniscus, just as a volumetric flask. So I can drain out just a little bit using my thumb valve. And now the meniscus is at the top. The bottom of the meniscus is now on that line. And so if I dispense by pressing this here, the fluid will flow out, and I'll have exactly 10 milliliters of fluid in the speaker. There will be a small amount of fluid at the very tip of this volumetric flask that is to stay there. Do not blow it out or try and draw that, fluid, that amount of fluid out. When we're using a more pipette, this line down here is my no-go line. If I've gone past that, I no longer know how much fluid is in here. So I will drop to a certain value, and I'll drain down to a certain value, and I'll subtract to know my volume. But if it goes past here, I no longer know how much fluid has been drawn and deposited. So same function, more pipette. What you'll find with the more pipette is it's going to take a lot more movement of the thumb. Because this is all like one large bulb. You'll draw, and there's a lag factor. We'll pull with our thumb, and then the fluid will go up, and you could let go, and it'll still be going up. So I'll take this up to about one milliliter. So then any bubbles that, that come into the pipette need to be tapped out. So reading this one, I read at 0.7, right on the line, so this is 0.7 milliliters, and let's say I drain down to around 5 milliliters. So again, I'm using the outlet valve and not my thumb valve to drain the fluid. So let's say I wanted 4.3 milliliters, so I drain this down to 5 since I had already started out with 0.7 milliliters. All right, now I've accurately added 4.3 milliliters of fluid from this more pipette.